Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Really excited for today's video. The beer is courtesy of Michael. Thanks so much, Michael. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm like super stoked to try this because it has a bunch of stuff in it that I really like. Uh, and also, I believe this is a new brewery for me. Uh, it's Cypress Brewing Company, uh, like Cypress Hill, Cypress Brewing. And I, yeah, I don't think I've, and if I did, I apologize. I, I'm completely forgetting. Um, it's an imperial stout with lactose, uh, cocoa, coffee, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and Jersey chili peppers. Uh, brewed and canned uh, at Cypress uh, Brewing Company in Edison, New Jersey. And this is 13% ABV. Great can art. You get like this like demonic Santa Claus, Krampus kind of guy. You got a uh, little kid scared in bed. <laughs> Uh, you got a little girl's like dropping the cookies like, yo, who is this monster? You're not Santa. Um, yeah, super fun. Uh, can art. Sounds like a tasty beer with a bunch of adjuncts. I like. I will say this for 13%. A little bit more brown than I was thinking. Once it's in the glass. Yeah, I mean, it's it's black, but there's a decent amount of brown mixed in. It's, it's somewhere between um, very deep brown in a lighter black color. Um, so yeah, definitely not like motor oil or whatever. Um, just over, I mean, I guess I poured it aggressive. I don't know. Uh, two fingers ahead, it's mocha. A little bit more milk in the mocha, maybe. Uh, relatively compact bubbles. I mean, it looks like a pretty big stout, but again, it doesn't look quite as big as I thought it was gonna look, given was, you know the fact that it's 13%. Uh, let's get into the aroma. All right, so first si or first aroma sniff, <laughs> not sip, sniff. A um, little bit of this roasty thing. Right now, it's just at least again, just the first one. I'm getting a little bit of roast, a little bit of chocolate, and like just kind of like generic fall and winter spices. I know there's specific ones in this, but like on that first, uh, you know, you know, whiff of it, I'm not getting like, oh, there's a nutmeg, there's a cinnamon. A little bit more like a chocolate, which leads into berry thing. I almost get, it, it's it's not barrel aged wood, but like this like outdoorsy, it just started raining kind of a wood. I mean, I can get that from a regular stout. I'm trying to think if any of these adjuncts would kick out potentially. It might just be from the base. Uh, it does smell good. It, it's, you know, I mean, there's so many adjuncts in there. <sighs> yeah, okay, so that is everything I'm getting, uh, at least on the aroma. So many adjuncts in there, you know they're not all gonna be like super expressive, but let's see about the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Michael. All right, that's what I thought was gonna happen. I took a second sip before I started talking because um, I got a little bit of that chili flake. And I was wondering if I took another sip if, I, if it would be like compounding, and it, it did. But not, after those two sips, it's definitely not like too spicy. I, I love a little bit, especially in a beer like this, it has like the chocolate and the vanilla, it's a big stout, like um, cinnamon, when it has like a little bit of pepper in it. I actually really like that. But I also don't, I don't know, when I'm drinking a beer, I don't want it to just be pepper, like like spicy pepper, you know, because it's like, well, this isn't refreshing. This is nice. The, the, the level of pepper in here, I think, is done very well. Um, in the sip, you get, I mean, it, it really, it's kind of like the aroma, and it is in some ways a showcase of the adjuncts, but then there is like this, I think it, it is some of the base beer coming through, but like I say a little bit of a roasty note, well, it's got coffee and, you know, uh, a co uh, I keep wanting to say cacao nibs. They're saying cocoa, uh, cocoa in it. So it's like, oh, is, or is that what the roast is, you know? So like, it does have a nice roasty element. It's not overly sweet. You know, you hear all these adjuncts, it's got the lactose, you know, makes you think like, well, maybe this would be like a really sweet desserty beer. No, and I think because it has, and again, I don't, I've never had the base beer, 
but uh, I'm going to assume from the base beer, but definitely some of these adjuncts, again, like the, the coffee, uh, it's going to add extra bitterness, uh, a little bit of extra that roastiness to it, and it's going to help balance out any of the sweetness uh, from things like the base beer and the lactose uh, added. Um, like the aroma, I'm not getting like specific notes of cinnamon or nutmeg. It's just kind of like generically uh, spiced. Um, so it's not like, cause a lot of beers, I actually, I've been really lucky. Uh, I, I still seem to make a point about this every time I have a beer with cinnamon in it, but, um, I think cinnamon can be very easily overdone in beer. I think it can just, you know, the process must just pull out, uh, cinnamon flavor, uh, uh more int uh, intensely than maybe some other adjuncts. And I think breweries have more so probably in the past than today, uh, uh put too much cinnamon in. This one definitely does not suffer from that. Um, it's a little thinner than I would have thought also Imperial Stout 13% you know it's got a little bit of creaminess to it and all that but it, but it, I don't know it just I would have thought it would have been a little bit more bodied but the flavors I really like in this yeah there is some vanilla in there. I know like my vanilla police police. Those are the people who police my vanilla policing. <laughs> are like, dude, you haven't mentioned the vanilla yet. Um, it is there. It's not 100% throughout, but like it's it's throughout 60, 70% of the sip, which is kind of nice. But it just kind of plays along with everything else. And, you know, just like everything else, it doesn't dominate. And again, I, I think with all this stuff in here, you know, it could go sideways. It could be something that's like dominating. It's like, well, what's the point of all these other adjuncts? Nothing is dominating except maybe that roastiness from the coffee and maybe the cacao. You get a little bit of chocolate there, which is nice. You get, you know, basically all the adjuncts do come through. Uh, the pepper for me only comes towards the finish, into the finish. Uh, but everything else is throughout. It's a really nice beer. For, again, I, I'm pretty sure this is my first beer from these guys. For first one, I'm really impressed. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. And, uh, it's a cold, rainy day here, and sipping on a nice, <laughs> big beer like this is going to be awesome. So thanks again, Mike. I really appreciate it, man. Seriously, I hope you're doing well. I uh, hope everyone else is doing well. If you have a comment about this, this beer, a beer you've had recently, I had a bunch of adjuncts, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.